When you talk about upcoming superstars in today's Real Madrid squad, you might think of players like Vinicius Jr., Kylian Mbappé, or even Jude Bellingham. These are stars in the world of football, the most known ones in the world. But weirdly enough, there's someone lingering around the Real Madrid squad right now that hasn't been talked about as much as these other guys. His name is Endrich. However, history tells us to be cautious of young prodigies. We've seen promising talents like El Sharawi, Robinho, Freddy Adu, and Alexander Pato. Legends like Pelé and Ronaldo have brushed shoulders with these players, who shine for a short period of time. But people believe that Andrik is a different animal, and he's here to stay. Okay, so before I start the video, I just wanted to point out that Andrik is just 17 years old. So anything I say in this video is going to be my opinion and my opinion only. So now that I got that out there, for me, there are two types of categories when it comes to players. First one is a world-class status player. Someone like Vinicius or Erling Holland. And for that young upcoming star, I'd say that there's two really good examples like Phil Foden and Lamine Yamal. Andrik falls into that young upcoming star category. Category. nowhere near that world-class status but i think if you give him time and experience he's going to become a world-class player i'd say by the time he reaches 20 years old and this isn't a dig at him at all and 20 is still super young age what do you think do you think he's a world-class talent right now or a young upcoming star i'm actually kind of curious about what you guys have to say in the comments down below and with that out of the way let's go on to his story Hendrick was born in Tahuatinga, a super poor district in Brazil. Growing up in poverty, his only escape was to play football. At the age of four, he understood football was his only way of getting out of poverty, as many Brazilians think. Players like Pelé, Neymar, and Ronaldinho are a few examples who pretty much knew that it was football or nothing. So from then on, his ambition was clear. He wanted to become a football player just like his idol, Ronaldo, even though he's picked the Portuguese one over for the Brazilian one. Ronaldo, o brasileiro, R9 ou CR7? Hum. Os dois. Pelo Cristiano. Anyway, to continue the story, Hendrix's father, a school janitor, recognized his potential super early on and began posting his videos on YouTube and also started sending them to all of the Brazilian clubs, hoping to try to get him into an academy. Despite the difficulties, Hendrix always remained optimistic during that rough patch in his life. He explained in an interview, I never went hungry, but my parents did. They gave me strength, but I did not want to see them struggle any longer. This type of drive motivated him to work hard to improve improve the lives of his family. That's where his resilience pretty much comes from. Hendrik's major break came at the age of 11 when he joined the Baimeiras youth team, scoring 165 goals and 169 appearances during a five-year period, which is quite a good amount of goals in a short period of time. One of the best ones I've heard. But despite those crazy numbers, he was still an unknown prospect until he participated in the sought-after Sao Paulo Youth Club. In that tournament, his performance was out of this world, making other talented kids look like literal babies. And with that, he won his first few title and the best player award, scoring eight goals in only seven games. These performances catapulted him into the global spotlight. The following year, he progressed more, becoming the first player under 18 to score double-digit goals in the Brazilian league, breaking Neymar's record. And with that, Real Madrid came swooping in for him, making a super early bid for 35 million euros. With add-ons, it makes it out to be 70 million in total, but 35 is the confirmed fee at the moment. But if those add-ons are hit, it would make him the most expensive Brazilian to join the club. I think Ramajid wanted his signature because Hendrix's style of play blends Mbappe's speed and stamina, Ronaldo's talents, and Romario's finesse. I don't even know what that means, but I just kind of came up with a combination of really good players that can maybe match his profile. Though not as quick as Mbappe or Bale, his way of playing is is pretty simple. The best way I can explain it to you would be a player who loves to keep the ball in his left foot, making little touches to full defenders, and then bursting out into space. He can play on the wing or as a central forward, making him a super versatile piece. Unlike Kaká, who arrived at Real Madrid with multiple trophies and a Ballon de Or, Hendrik is just getting started with his career. At 17, he's already one of the most strongest and resilient players in the whole world. 
his story and his background says that this is completely true. As Endrick prepares to make his Real Madrid debut, expectations are high. When he makes his debut, two things will be clear. He might not be awarded the Golden Boot or the Ballon d'Or right away, but competing against the best players in the world is going to put his skills to the test. It will come as no surprise if he achieves something extraordinary. He's already accomplished it multiple times. So yes, Endrick lifting a league trophy or scoring in a major match could be a possibility. He will play with stars like Vinicius and Jude Bellingham, as well as more technical maestros like Modric, which will pretty much increase his confidence and reveal his true skill. So yeah, that's what I pretty much think about Endrick. I'm pretty excited what he can do at Madrid. I really expect great things from him, as many other people do as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you guys on the next one.